Hey Priya, check out my new phone. Wow! But I thought you were saving up for a new car. Yeah, I am. I save a little every month for the car, so spent my yearly bonus on this phone. Oh, okay. But isn't money just money? You could save up for the car faster. Meet Raj. Like many of us, he manages his money by creating accounts for specific needs in his head. This is called mental accounting, and it's super useful. But Raj also attaches emotions to his income based on when and how he earns it. That's why he treats his monthly salary as safe capital, money he's not willing to part with easily. And windfall gains such as yearly bonus or tax refunds, he's happy to blow away on luxuries. Mental accounting at times can be difficult to overcome and can lead to bad financial decisions like overspending when shopping with a credit card versus paying cash, allocating windfall gains to indulgences like Raj just did. But as Priya thinks, money is the same no matter the source. We are only human and emotional in nature and may not be able to get rid of mental accounting. However, you can use mental accounting to your advantage. Remember, it's all your money, all the same. None of it is easy money. So invest smartly to make your money grow. Attach a goal to each investment, that new car, your child's education, a retirement plan, or a down payment on your dream house. Mentally allocating money before you start spending it. There are specific mutual fund schemes meant for retirement savings and building a corpus for children's future. Take help of a financial expert about investing in mutual funds for specific goals like retirement planning and children's education. An investor education initiative by HDFC Mutual Fund. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.